Hey guys, it's Justin here again. In today's video, I'll be comparing the latest driver, which is 528.02, versus the previous driver, which is 527.56. So, yesterday I did a visual representation where I compared the two drivers in a split screen. But unfortunately, because I use recording software, it does skew my results, so you don't get an accurate representation of how the drive performs. It's slightly skewed. With OBS, it's a little bit CPU intensive, and if you use GeForce Experience, it's a little bit GPU intensive. So it does tend to skew the results. So always after I release one of these videos, the next day, I release a video where I do testing without any recording software. So I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's get to the results. So first and foremost, all my games tested at medium settings and I use FSR 2.0 or 2.1 on the quality setting if it was available. So what I did is the previous driver and the latest driver, I benchmarked eight games um, at medium settings using FSR 2.0 or 2.1 where available and then I tallied up the, the average FPS got a total FPS over 8 games and then because I benchmarked over 8 games I divided that total amount by 8 and that would give me my average FPS per game so for uh, 527.56 the previous driver um, my average FPS per game was 71.63 and then my average 1% low was 54.63 so when I divide the, the average 1% low by the average FPS, um, it gives me a stability rating of 76.27%. So for the latest driver, the one that released yesterday, my average FPS was slightly lower at 571 as opposed to 573. So it would give me a slightly lower average FPS per game, 71.38. But the catch is that the 1% lows were actually the exact same for uh, this driver uh, to the previous driver. So what that does is because my average FPS is slightly lower on the latest driver, but the 1% lows are the same, the, the latest driver is actually a tiny little fraction more stable in my testing. So the stability rating of the previous driver was 76.27 and then the stability rating of the latest driver is 76.53 so you can see the latest driver it's not massive but it is slightly more stable than the previous driver so if you want my recommendation guys um, if you want slightly better performance upgrade to the latest driver if you're happy with whatever driver you're on is not a massive reason to upgrade your driver but if you want those little percentages of extra performance 528.02 is your baby but guys thank you so much for watching um it's a new year so happy new year to everybody uh if you enjoy this type of content be sure to smash that like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel you better do so or else other than that, as people like you, have a good day, have a good week. Cheers.